in term of past five years, with the demand of more specification networks required, base station antenna become more and more advanced. It evolved from a single narrow band to be multiple ultra wide band, and the tower appearance became become simplified. Since more and more integration and the compact size antenna is coming out. In the near future, Massive MIMO will become more popular since the high speed network with low latency, wide coverage, high capacity, and supporting a large number of devices is the key to implement 5G application. One of the main challenges that operators will be facing in the 5G is the CAPS and OPS. As we all know, in 5G, the network architecture has significantly changed, and due to this change, there will be increase on the network deployment cost. The active antenna unit, one unit cost is 10 times higher than the traditional passive antennas, and there will be more equipment required, more tower talk space required, and also there will be more power consumption. And due to those changes, this will lead to higher operation and maintenance costs. Certain challenges to the operators will be the business transformation. So previously, operators' more focusing point will be on the coverage and the capacity. But in 5G era, there are new territories, three territories, future reliable low latency connections, EMBB, and the massive machine type communications and operator need to determine which area they need to participate in in order to maintain the existing subscribers while on the other hand extend the business in the 5g industry so operators natural advantage is that they have the existing network infrastructure so make good use of those existing network infrastructure to upgrade to 5G network will help operator to win the competition in 5G. To help operator solve the increasing uh, technical and economic challenges, a convention network will be the key enabler for the 4G and the 5G coexisting systems. It will benefit for the micro and the macro sites, which are constrained and uh, crowded. It will also able to minimize the VSO impact as well as the total cost ownership on the tower top. A convention network will be able to share the elements between FDD and TDD and also between the traditional passive antennas and the mass MIMO antennas. Touch will be able to reduce the cost compared to the independent deployment. The first platform is the Super Multi Band Antenna Platform. It has 4 low band and 16 high band. With this, you can support 4x4 MIMO for 700 MHz and 4 high band 4x4 MIMO, such as 1800, 2100, 2300, 2600. In the meantime, this platform is using four columns side by side layout, so it can also support 8x8 MIMO. If the port is still not enough, this platform with the same dimension can also be extended by integrating more duplexer inside to separate the wide band into different narrow band. The second platform is this TDD plus FDD with two low band, three high band, and one 3.5D TDD. For the FDD part, we can do two systems 4x4 MIMO, and for TDD part, it is supporting ATAR TDD system. The third platform is this massive MIMO antenna. Comba have researched this field since 2015, and we have made a remarkable achievement during the cooperation with the rain vendors.